I appreciate everyone coming tonight. This is just a quick meeting so that Brenda and Casey and Chris feel reassured that we have a plan for our money. Um, we have $647,400.98 that we have not committed. Uh, and we need to vote what we're gonna do with um, our money. And I think we have we could take away 580,000 right away by just doing the freight liner and the loader, which is 325,000. We should have two plans. One for immediate, if it's a immediate crawlback, clawback, but I don't believe that that's going to happen. But if it is, I was thinking we could do the freight liner for 325 and um, the loader for 255, that's 580,000. And then use the 67 odd thousand uh, towards the ambulance. And that way we're not using capital stabilization. So that would be if, if we're going to do June, like action by June 30th. I mean, uh, May 30th, okay, like next week. Does that make sense? Well, I'm not really in favor of doing that, but um, I mean, not in favor of spending our ARPA money on a, on two pieces of equipment for, for the highway department. Oh, I, I agree, but- I know this is a plan, like in case somebody comes for the money. Next week, this is, we'll have the short-term plan. This is like, if, if they agree for June first, we got to have some plan. Our money's committed, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking of. Then the next plan would be September thirtieth, which was the end of the fiscal year, which makes more sense in my mind. If there was going to be a clawback, and so I was thinking we should. I mean, it's just my suggestion. I'm open to anything. I don't really care, but I was thinking that. I think we can do the Leary lot for sure by then. We can have the contract out and we should just go ahead with the church. <sighs> Putting the money in the church. I Because we had set aside this 647,000 um, to put towards the 1888 building if we get, right. that, if we get that earmark. But well, I don't know what you guys, so I'm open to anything. So I just called this meeting because I, thought we should have a couple plans and then we don't no. have to worry about it. Uh, I was going to say, Casey, you had your hand up. So I did a little research today. Look back at the, which is why you have what you have. Um, I'll just go through some of the documents I gave you were mm -hmm. um, the final plan that was voted on the 14th of April. Right. Project plan that capital submitted to you. But I did some research in, internally, and so there's a couple of things we really do need. Um, yes, I know we need to do repairs at the church, but that can't happen immediately because you have to go through procurement. Um, we really do need an immediate influx of $30,000 so I can finish the crosswalk engineering so we don't lose that $113,000 grant. Mm -hmm. um, I tried several ways to do it. Um, I can't hear you very well, Casey. Oh, sorry. So you're talking about $30,000 for engineering for the crosswalk? So we have mm -hmm. a crosswalk grant for $113,000. Denise is aware of it because she and Alice and I worked on it with the COG. Um, we got a grant through the COG to do the preliminary design, but the grant doesn't cover engineering. So we knew we had to come up with the engineering um, money. But I tried several different ways to do it. This is the last resort. Um, otherwise, we have to go through the appropriation. Now, remember, Carolyn, I put this in to capital and then we eliminated it because we just didn't have any money. Right. So the capital request had gone through. It was just not part of the final plan. Um, my suggestion, so I talked this through with Brenda too. Um, you need an extra hundred thousand dollars for at least for the HVAC. Gotcha. However, at least. we can't get that done in four months. Well, but what we can do is buy the freight liner at 325. 
that one's already approved. Right. Listen, With hear capital. me out, Trevor. Okay. Buy the Freightliner at three twenty-five. Because as soon as Kevin can get that, he he will. Um, that we already were on the list to have that thing built. Um, buy that. We have the capital appropriation for that piece of equipment in the fall town meeting reallocate at least 200,000 toward the PDHVAC. Because if you spend the 325 out of ARPA funds, you get it much quicker. We spend the funds and then we could certainly tell people why we're asking them to reallocate this to a different approved capital project. Yep. Um, and part of that is the fact that we had to ref redefine the design scope because of the price that it came in at and certain other procurement concerns like a different quote process over 150,000 um, because of what we got for a quote. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is well, there's several other things. I know you want to either allocate money to the church or to the 1888 building. In both cases, you need more information. Um, that probably, we probably will have more information by September, but whether we can execute or not and expend the money, I can't tell you for sure. Well, I don't. I, we're also finalizing the community one stop grant that does include some of this stuff for the church. And ask Denise, she can give you the update if she's listening. <laughs> can I just say a couple things? Oh, well, wait for Tim. No, go ahead, Kevin. You uh, go and then I'll go. So I, um, first. I don't see a big urgency. Uh, the government can't even figure out how to raise a, de a debt ceiling. They're never going to come for us by September to figure out how to claw back money that's already been um, written off as revenue replacement uh, they're just not capable of being able to do that they just they can't they're not they just don't have the skill to be able to run government that efficiently to come back to us by september and ask for money um i think uh, i think so we have another year to spend the arpa money that's generally what we had um i really wanted to make a larger impact with the ARPA money that we had on a on one time bigger projects that aren't buying trucks um, I, and we've spent uh, you know. We just seem to have spent it all on like HVAC and. Um, you know, a, capital projects, Trevor. Yes, but buying a mini excavator and HVAC and all of that stuff that we didn't make a large impact on like town infrastructure. So like there's a building. two other things I have suggestions about after reviewing the capital plan, sidewalks mm -hmm. and other things that are infrastructure related, like the church. So I'm, I'm in favor of, of uh, we're probably going to need to add money to the Leary lot. I don't think 469 is enough to do that job. Do. I'm okay with doing 30 for the crosswalk. That's infrastructure work for the town. It's, you know, it's safety. It's important. I, I'm, I'm all for that because it helps ca capture another 100000 or so in grant money, and it moves that project along. Um, I understand the need for a plan if like if all of a sudden they're beating down the door and looking for the money we can we can buy a truck fast or buy a you know we can spend it fast enough but I just I think our intention should really be the Leary lot that the senior well the community center through the church we're going to need every penny we can get for that beyond what we only have and um, and the sidewalk there the crosswalk so far. And, and then we ha do have to add more money. Probably it's going to be around 200000 to do the police HVAC. But I did talk with um, Jamrog a bit about this. And, you know, he didn't bid the first time because he said it was going to have to be DCAM. And everyone said, no, well, whatever. It has to be DCAM. It has to be DCAM. But he said he would be willing to walk through, take a look at everything and really understand the project and maybe give us some guidance on does it need to be that much or not um, have an engineer that's doing that we've already john I, 
guess John, that. Let me but, finish. John. Well, I wasn't Andrea. done talking yet. Well, <laughs> so okay. Hang I'm on. Shut let up me, and mute. Let me finish. Uh, what I'm saying is that Jamrog uh, would be happy to look at that. He was the one who said the engineer had already had underbid it, said it was going to be less than less than two hundred thousand dollars, and he said, "Look, it, it's worth the time to walk through." with John and really evaluate what's going on there and put up an, a somewhat accurate number. It may be 200,000 in the end, but at least just have somebody kind of that does it all the time that recognized it wasn't gonna be right to begin with, just have a quick evaluation and then that's it. You can unmute, thank you. <laughs> Kim, go Kim ahead. wants to speak. Why don't you go through your ideas, Casey? Cause I don't, um... I'm going to go on and say what I think we should do afterwards. <laughs> Everybody will have a chance to say their whole thing. Good. Okay. Remember, no, remember, this is a quick plan, uh, uh, September 30th plan, and right. what we really wanted, and just confirmation of what we really want. And I, I don't really think that this is too big, big of a change, but I just want it clarified so Casey and Brenda didn't have to worry. Okay. Well, I'm what not worried. Quickly? It's just. So two things, we have a faster shot at the dump truck than we would with the loader. The loader probably has to be built. If you, okay. want, to, if you want to use the money, focus on the Freightliner. Second, the Jamrog thing, Trevor. So we've had a meeting about the procurement. It isn't until you get things back that you have an idea of what needs to be adjusted. We have an engineer working on this. They're redoing the specs. We have to go out to bid again. Now that that number came in at 200, we know it has to go through DCAM. Um, and we, we were pretty sure that people didn't bid it because of the specs, but in some cases we didn't know what materials were gonna look like. So rebidding it makes a lot of sense. If Jamrog wants to bid, they need to participate in the bid. Even coming through and doing an evaluation is gonna undermine what the engineer's done. If we reframe the scope, and they can review it, that's great. If they have questions, they can ask it, ask those questions at a walkthrough because this type of a bid is probably gonna require a walkthrough. Um, and that's part of the scope of the request for a bid. It's just, you hit a different ceiling and, or a different threshold for what has to happen. And this does have to be DCAM. Um, and it wasn't until somebody came back with 200,000 that we knew that. So that's why Andrea and the, the three of us, John, Andrea, myself, and the engineer met, because we had to talk that through. And so this is sort of in process. I don't know that it makes sense for Jamrog to come in and give us information or ask questions. They're gonna have to ask again if they bid for it. Um, you do need at least $200,000 though. Well, that's um, the main question. Well, you can't undermine your bid process. Right? I'm not undermining anything. I'm just thinking I'd love to hear what somebody had to say about it. All right. Have you talked to John? Yes. Um, why don't you get John to talk to Jamrog or whoever? Okay. Um, they st we still have to do the bid process. Understood. Yeah, I'm not um, interested in. So we have a we better already shot voted that we're going to do that. Right. Yeah, we did. So we what, are, what other ideas do you have, Casey? Just it was the crosswalk engineering. The dump truck. I had other things that I thought we could do. I certainly think we should add some money to the church, but how fast we can use it, I can't tell you. Um, you said, sidewalks, sidewalks, wait, sidewalks, when you said, sidewalks. When you said uh, dump truck, you meant the freight liner. The right? freight liner, yeah. Okay. The freight liner. The right. loader, we may not be able to get as quickly. That's All my right. only concern. Um, but sidewalks yeah. is on that that capital request. The boards have made comments and asked questions about it in the last several meetings. When I sat down and looked at things, that was what popped into my head. Now we have put money aside for cap for we have. But I after hope. watching what's happened on Sherlow Street and hearing DOT say this is very expensive, I think we could reasonably assume we need more money. Because we were that was a first tranche, and then we were supposed to add like another two fifty the next year, and we never did. Yeah. So that money's just sitting there, but we were going to add a couple, two years in a row. All right. So, Tim, let's hear what. So, yes. my feeling is that um, we should think about the first thing we want to do and then have an alternate plan that says, I agree with Trevor. I don't think they're going to change and come back for ARPA money. The latest thing I've read 
is that the talks are coming down to level funding because the Republicans have no plan that's going anywhere and they know it. And the Biden is basically saying, look, you want to wreck the economy, go ahead. I'll agree to no level spending for an increase in the debt limit. And I think that's the extent of it. There might be some playing around the edges of the um, IRA money, um, but they're I not going to come after ARPA. I fully believe that. So what I think we should do, other than the, th the 30,000, that seems like a logical thing to do. Mm -hmm. My discussions with John about the HVAC and the police was that this bid that was 200 was too high and it was too complex and it was probably going to come in lower. That's why we're going out to rebid. We're, we've got a bit of the pandemic behind us. You know, there's people are catching up. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a different plan. We're not going to ask the same questions we asked before. So we may or may, you know, we may need more money, but I would be better. I, I think what we should do is pick the building. My preference is the 1888 building. Target this money to it minus the 30,000 so we can get the sidewalk built. Um, and then uh, have, a, have a fallback plan that says, if we have to spend this money all of a sudden, we will swap out the money for the freight liner and you know put the other money back into capital. Now that truck's been ordered as far as I understand. Mm -hmm. So once it's ordered and the money's allocated for it, they, they're not gonna take it back. I mean, the money has effectively been spent. We're just waiting for the truck to arrive. Yeah, they'll sell it to somebody else. No, I'm saying that the federal government is not gonna come and ask you for the check that you you have in the bank waiting for the truck to be delivered. Right. The money has effectively been spent. So I think it's nice to develop an alternate plan for an emergency, but I don't think that should be the first plan we do. Oh, no, 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 no. But I, I wanted right. to have a short-term September plan. Right. And, well, and just reaffirm what we wanted to do. Right. And no, I, I get that, but you know, the, we started talking about the alternate plan first. My preference would be if the 1880 building is going to work, it's going to depend on having a large amount of this money dedicated to it because right. currently we have three point something million available from our bank accounts and we have this ARPA money. And if we get a $4 million loan, we can do an $8 million project. If we start eating away at the ARPA money, we're going to have to come up with money from somewhere else. Yep. And so my preference would be dedicate 617,498 cents to the 1888 building project and take 30 and put it into the engineering for the sidewalks. And then in the next week, look at the list that Casey gave us and say, okay, if we have to spend this, we'll spend it on the freight liner. I agree with Trevor. What has the mini excavator done for this town? No I haven't seen it do anything. Nope. A little bit uh, in there. You know, the idea was it was going to help us do the sidewalks. Yeah. The town's not really going to do the sidewalks because apparently the DPW can't do sidewalks. So well, I have some thoughts about that. Um, but but I think the mini did, I think we used the mini. At one point, I just can't remember what the project was. Kevin and I talked about it. So, if did we, we wanted did to we do get a hundred and the crosswalk engineering, it's crosswalk engineering. Yeah, crosswalk engineering makes sense to me. But to me too. Did we get one hundred and two thousand dollars worth of value for the mini excavator yet? Not yet. When will we actually get that value? Legit question. Twenty years from now. I have some thoughts. I'm reaching out to people. Trevor. Uh, so, okay, so um, I agree with a lot of that. So my only pushback on the 1888 building and putting that money towards it, I do understand your philosophy on it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. So my, my, but my request would be to put it towards, so we're running up fast against not having a home for our seniors. And my concern is like, we're going to need way more than the $8 million to do to, to move our town hall into that 1888 building with a large addition on it. So I think we go out and we borrow for that 
big project and we we use all the money we can the earmark and um, whatever else but I think if I would love to put whatever extra ARPA money we have towards redoing the community center so that we could at least get our seniors in there with the money we have a little bit extra money if we don't use it all flip it towards that other project but I'm concerned that I know it's still going to take a while I mean government is like molasses we we know we need to fix the roof we know we need to shore up this thing and do the basement stuff and trust work whatever we, we we know what we have to do i want to get started on that stuff or at least put it into a larger um package to get going and i know that takes a little bit of time but i really do think we should get focusing on that so we have a, a kitchen done really nice kitchen and the space is ready for the seniors sooner rather than later or else we're going to be uh, we're not going to have a place for them at the, at the moment again um but i but i also my fallback is yes i understand whatever money is put towards that 1888 building is is important too so that's where i waffle but i, I agree with the engineering for the crosswalk my last choice is a pickup truck or a truck if last resort i think we need to focus on this next year on on raising our uh, appropriation or raising our over two and a half to just to just fund this town the way we need to to make sure we have capital okay. year to year to do this stuff. I'm yeah. done. So um, Denise has probably got Denise and I have been doing research. So great. One of the things that I want to say is I don't want to allocate money to the church building because all the work that we plan to do is money that we're asking the state to give us money for. So we have, we already have a hundred thousand that we need to spend. We should spend it on fixing the roof truss. And I think Casey's made a lot of progress in the last week about understanding how we can do that. So I think, you know, we're, we're probably in a place where next meeting we can make a decision possibly about an engineering firm. Maybe it'll be two weeks from now. I don't know, but um, I, I think that That'll start the project. Um, now, granted, if we get to September and we don't get anything from Community to One Stop, then I wouldn't disagree with you, Trevor, about allocating the reallocating the money. Okay. Um, because, yeah, and I just hope we get Community One Stop because this is pre-development. And then if we get pre-development, they're probably going to be predisposed to give us development money. Yeah. So. That's that's why I put the 1888 building first. Not that I don't think mm -hmm. that other building is an option. It's just I want to try to exhaust the state's willingness to give us money right. before we spend money. That so, and I fully agree. The only reason I'm talking about the Freightliner is because we, yeah, we have want to have a plan. Right. right. Yeah. I trust that plan, Tim. I trust yeah. you. On that. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Denise. Hey, so I was just going to say that, yeah, but Tim and I've been working and John uh, a lot on the uh, on the church. And right now I'm working with Casey and Alice on the budget. And I think we've got all, almost seven hundred thousand dollars. We're going to put a 30 percent escalation. So we're very close to the million dollars that we could ask for in the church. My thoughts are that if for some reason we don't get that earmark from McGovern, then you know, that's going to be a tough one. I mean, I know we're going to, we're looking at um, a long-term 40-year loan from USDA, hopefully at a very low interest rate. I think it was at like 3.75 till the end of June. Uh -huh. If we can get that, that's cool. I would say, hey, go for the 1888. If for some reason we don't get that, I would put that money towards the church also. And Tim, we're not going to find out from Community One Stop until the latter part of October, early yeah. November. We wouldn't get any funding until January. I think we've got a really strong proposal, though, this time, because it's, yeah. I mean, we've got a lot, of, I've got a lot of letters um, from, the, from the BOO, from all the select boards, right. from various organizations. So, and I think Alice has done a terrific job writing that. So, I mean, we're keeping our fingers crossed that we get that. But if we don't, if we're able to switch gears, and we don't get money for the 1888, I, I would definitely put money into the senior center. Mm -hmm. I mean, the senior community center. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Yeah, yeah. And and I um, want to say that De Denise and I are meeting with, uh, with a basement company tomorrow, which yeah. 
Thank they're you. not the basement company. I, I would probably ideally, I mean, if we don't do anything to the foundation, they would be a good fix. But if we're going to fix the foundation, I don't think that that would be my first option. But right. she's also in touch with a, another um, company yeah. that can actually fix the foundation walls by forming up new cement walls to have the church sit on. So, yeah. but we're not, I don't know that you made any progress on that today. No, the guy was supposed to call me back at six. He hasn't, so I'm not real happy about that. So I'll reach out to him again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And then well, finally, um, I, I agree that, you know, the 1880 to build, 1888 building is dependent on, you know, yeah. this, this loan, but, um, you know, yeah. if we um, decide, there's, there's also this thing that came up, and I, I'm only mentioning it because you're probably aware of it, Trevor, but this idea that there's a building out there that's Oxford Publishing occupies currently, and I think it's in Sunderland. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's up for notified. sale. I notify about that. Yeah, it's a it's bit 10,000 square feet and, um, oh. you know. Um, Sin Hour Publishing. Yeah, Sin Hour. Um, yep. Yeah, Jane, Jane when you look at the, Yeah, when you, look at the, uh, when you look at the property documents, it says something about Oxford University Press or oh, something. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's probably not. But yep. it sold not too long ago, and I think the it was like a million dollars. Okay. Wow. I have no idea what, whether it's on the market, how much they want for it, how much work would need to go into it, who would yep. be buying it, who would own it. Right. Um, all these questions exist, but it's out there now. So it's in competition with the okay. 1821 building. And so right. we need to look at the 1821 building as Deerfield is going to do this anyway. We are. <laughs> yeah. We are. So, yeah. yeah, and so, you know, there are, there are other possibilities. If we have to delay on the 1888 building because we don't get the grant, mm -hmm. then there's, there's other things we can do with CPA money, et cetera, okay. to move that other building forward because we want to show progress and, and yeah. have something that the community can use. Yeah. Um, you know, so well, we have the, the flexibility deadline. piece. We have to do something with our seniors. It um, was so nice to see the people, you know, planting in front and ringing the bell and kind of getting a feeling of, hey, this could be something. And I think it'd be great to put some money into that kitchen and kind of get, get started. We have some money allocated. And like you said, thank you for your work to kind of meet people and get that stuff rolling. I'm not sure. Casey knows all the... No, I don't know all the ins and outs, but, no, the, the procurement. but Denise and Tim have been very active on the it. The procurement the only, part of it. The only cautionary thing I would say about the 1888 building any ideas you have for the 1888 building, we should sit down and talk to Dan Pilata. He's your OPM. He can tell you what he thinks needs to happen now versus- Are you talking about the church building? The Are church you talking about the, the church one. building? No, the no I'm talking about the 1888 building. Okay. The, eight, the 1888 building already has a conceptual design by, you know, so yep. Dan is fully aware of everything about the 1888 building. I'm just talking about there are, there are three different flavors of the 1888 building. One is $11 million with the, with the cost escalator. One is $8 million and one is $2 million. And the 2 million just fixes the outside. The 8 million gives you a functioning building, but you don't have the uh, third floor. And the 11 million goes all the way to the third floor. So he's fully aware of that. And we're not really doing anything other than thinking about, you know, That's and I agree. I, I've been thinking that we need to have a meeting with Julie, and we'll probably talk about the CCI tomorrow, um, but have a meeting to say, where are we on the 1888 building and what should we be doing? You know, all involving Dan, he's the OPM on that project. He's still the OPM on that project. Um, the 1821 is the one where we've been doing stuff and it's informational stuff. Right, and but we're trying to put some of that stuff into the grant. The right. reason I was thinking, if you guys wanted to use some use money for the 1888 building, you just want to keep in mind the logic from A to D, which is if there's certain things you want to do to shore the structure up now, where does that fit into the bid process, depending on what choice for design you guys did? It's, it's always a good idea to ask your OPM what he thinks you could do now versus what you definitely need to put in the bid later. True. Yeah, I mean... Then you get into the question of, okay, is this work you're doing with ARPA money, is that going to be construed as a bid split later on? 
you know, there's much more danger of bid splitting on any of these other projects than the roof rafter thing is we don't, that's not really a problem. Oh, we have to fix that. So, yeah. um, okay. So let's summarize this now. We all agree, is that true, that we want to spend $30,000 to finish the engineering on the crosswalk walk? Yes. Okay. Yes. I will entertain a motion to have that voted right now. Make I'll motion. make a motion to uh, allocate $30,000 of ARPA money to do the engineering work related to the crosswalk uh, grant for North Main Street. And I'll second that motion. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, Tim. All those in favor, Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay, that's unanimous. Thank okay, you. so that's, we got, took care of 30,000. Now, do, do we want to just say that we're seriously encouraging Casey to move along on the church relish, right? Yes. Okay. How do you... <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Can you? So give the update is I reached out to Structures North to see if they will, if the quote is still good. I've not heard back from them. Um, if the quote's still good, then I'm going to send them a contract because their contract terms aren't great, and I've already communicated with council about it. Um, but I need to know if the quote's still good. It's just under thirty thousand. And that's the engineering only of the. That's the engineering work. for the truss repair and the evaluation of the other three options. So there were three options where they basically evaluate this these items one two three four. The engineering piece would just be for the truss repair, but they would give you the the baseline quote would give you more information so you can make an educated guess about what you think it could cost. For the other three options, it feels like thirty thousand would fix that. <laughs> I'm just yeah, a I mean, threshold for engineering for building work. One of the things about this that you know, of course, is a problem is that it is a small, relatively small fix. But then there's the question of will a company come for a small amount of money and incur a bunch of risk? They got to pay insurance. The engineers got to pay insurance, um, and and so that's driving it, you know, driving the, the cost of this. And yeah. part, of the, part of the bid is for the engineer to oversee the work. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's the engineering, there's the design, and then there's the OPM process. And they all add up to 29.5. Who's, who's the engineer? It's John so, Watney, Structures yeah, North. Yeah, it's Structures North, John Watney okay. and his team. Um, they would do the engineering and construction oversight, which is what just Tim just mentioned. Um, we just have to sign the contract to start the process because they basically need, we need final engineering design for the truss repair. But the bid request we put out included a baseline evaluation of the truss, the steeple, the flooring, and then solar panels. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're moving ahead as fast as we can on that, right? Yep. Okay. Knowing what we have in terms of what the requirements in the law are, and knowing that there's a time frame here. Yep. That you have yeah. to follow because of the bid laws. All right. right. But okay. uh, from what I understand, we can accept that bid if it's still valid for and just do the baseline work. And the baseline work will inform an RFP to do the construction work. Okay. It will inform the RFP for construction. It right. won't include engineering for the other three options. Right. But right. it gives you an idea of what you can expect so that you can plan for that process. Yep. But you're right. This, this piece is the critical piece. And when you, for, when you frame it as options, there's just a little bit of leeway. Okay. Yeah, yeah and, I, and ultimately, um, I had a conversation with Adam Costa about this today, um, just to check my understanding and educate myself about bid processes. And he says Casey's current understanding seems perfectly le legal and legitimate. It's not like we designed a plan and developed an RFP for construction work, and then we decided to, to do only 
one piece and we came right. back six months later and hired somebody else to do another piece. Yeah, that's we, hired, we, we ask engineers for their opinion and what it would cost for them to give us advice. Yep. And we're picking one element of an engineering request and, and going with it. Right. So he saw no real legal issue with this. Right. Okay. That's good. Perfect. Okay. So we're moving on that and hopefully we'll be able to spend the hundred thousand without any issues. Okay. Have a sidetrack real quick. I know we, and we've been trying to get uh, Andrea Furcog to help us with a feasibility and a couple Thank of you. other things. She yeah. doesn't have capacity to even meet with me towards the, until the end of the week. Okay, fine. As long as we're making contact and moving forward, that's good. Okay. This is feasibility for senior center, right? Correct. Yep. Yes. We want to make sure we're spending that money. Yep. Okay. So we're back to if we had to do an immediate spend, everybody agrees. My understanding so far is that everyone agrees that we could just substitute out our ARPA funding for the capital stabilization for the freight liner, right? That's 325 right off the top. Okay. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. No, I'm this this yep. is just like if we have to do this for no next votes, week. but just yeah. Week. Okay. Yeah. And then what that would include potentially either doing sidewalks or, um, you know, the ambulance is the other thing that we could flip off. That's 142,000 and um, the, or the loader. I just want, we're okay with spending, you know, that kind of stuff if we had to, all right? Right, and I really, while we talk of loader, I really still want an evaluation from a John Deere to come in and say, how much do we need to spend? But on we could, but we're just looking yes, for right. It, at, at worst, they worst come case scenario, the door. June right. first, we have to turn off the money, yeah. switch off. Yes, we can. Capital. Yeah. State. The other. Yep. The other possibility would be to you know, um, Eastern Ave. Yep. Grave Street. Yep. They all need to be resurfaced. I don't know how much work has been done there. Quite a bit. Uh, but, you know, the oh, bucket loader is my least favorite item. Yeah. Well, that's true. I mean, there's no way. I, I know Kevin is is intending to use um, Chapter 90 money for Eastern App. But, again, you could swap out our ARPA money and use chap Chapter 90 somewhere else. We no. did the, uh, just an update on that. We did the, ran the cameras through uh, those streets again, and the pipes are junk. We got to rip them out because they're six inch, they're block, blocked up. So we're, those are all not filling in place. It's, it's cut and remove, pull out. So Kevin's aware of that. He's been working on that. Is okay. that fair or is that Graves or? Uh, gra uh, that's, uh, that's Eastern and, um, What's the graves? Yeah. Eastern graves and cross. Mm -hmm. Now I thought some of Eastern had been done, but not all of it. No, I think so, you I think a couple of, I know we purchased pipe and stuff um, and some material, but we have not actually done the work yet. I think Colcott was going to come in and do some of that work in case okay. he needs to have some update. Can I just ask a question? Oh, sure. Um, did Justin get Justin or Dave give you any idea of how much it would cost? Uh, I think I think that um, that was uh, we did originally have some numbers for those streets, um, and I think Kevin was working on a plan to tackle that, straddling a couple of years to do it, but uh, fit the fiscal year to do that, I think, but I'm I'm not sure exactly how that's panning out. We should talk with Kevin again, but yeah, because I didn't even know you guys had talked about it. Yeah, last last I knew we had done it, and then Kevin thought, well, maybe they're not that bad, and but I think Dave got new cameras, so we were able to get in. He he came up and was able to get in there and realize that they're they're a mess. They're all clay, they're junk, and they need to be pulled. So I think Kevin's aware of that, but I don't know what his plan is or how much it is to do it right now. Okay. We gotta get we gotta get jumping on that. Okay, so paved like and be done with that neighborhood. The the next uh plan is the if it was a September 30th clawback, we would still try to get the Leary lot done. I, I think we're moving on that enough that we could get that committed. And um 
you know, the RFP out and, and start that work. Casey? Yes. That's been committed for 500,000. You might want to think about adding money to it. Yes. But I mean, by then we'll have a bid. Yeah. So well, no. By then we should be having work done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we're not working by September, I'm going to wonder why. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I have a design. Should, Leary Lot should take, should be solid still by September 30th. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. And then my understanding is that uh, if, again, if it isn't, then, um, I mean, if we have to do the September 30th, then we want to do whatever work we've identified at the church. Right or the eighteen eighty eight building. Either was, one, yeah. We were, I, I we're, that, we're going back and forth. We're going back yeah. and forth. So uh, it sounded <laughs> like Tim, you were saying eighteen eighty eight, right? I think that was the plan. Based yeah, I mean, and, and if we have to shift, yes, we can shift. I mean, right. I okay. I, I'm hoping that the state will give us the money we we'll want for the church building. Right. If the state but doesn't give us the money, and we need to spend it and we've advanced along the process where we can start to spend it, then definitely I'm fine yeah. with shifting it over and finding another solution okay. for 1888. All right, I don't, I don't think, I just wanted consensus. We do not have to vote this. This is just an emergency backup plan. And it sounds like we're still on the road that we had already agreed to that we're investing in real substantial capital projects and. Mm -hmm. We're moving forward, Leary lot number one, and then we can pivot either way, 1888 yep. to 1821 building. Can I ask a question, Carolyn? Sure. What I'd like to see is the packet that Casey sent to us that's that includes the encumbered money, the expended money, and the non-committed money. I would like to be able to change this thing to reflect the 30,000 and set aside the rest of the money for the 1888 building or the 1821 building. And mm -hmm. so now we have a piece of paper that's an official document. We voted on it. Yep. Yep. Somebody comes and asks us where we allocated this money. Oh, we yep. allocated this money. It's here. Yep. Right. If we leave it the way it's written, it shows that we haven't allocated it. $647,000 right. we haven't expended. Yeah. Okay, I can update I, that form if you'd like me to. Yeah, that that'd be great, Casey. That you've talked about. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let's... If you if you could update it for a meeting next Wednesday, that we could just look at it again, and you know approve it, then we can move on it if we have to. But it's always there for us. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's that's the only thing I wanted to get out, and I uh, so I'm so appreciative because this was you know a 45 minute conversation as to. Yeah. Too much of a conversation for a regular meeting. Absolutely. We do also have a, a vote here, Carolyn. Yes. Oh, yes. Right away certificate. Um, this is for uh, our loan closings for the US um, USDA um, sewer project. So there, there's been different forms that everybody, Casey and Brenda and Council has been working on this last form is um, to it's it's a right of way certificate. It, it's the undersigned town of Deerfield hereby certifies, except noted in item uh, four below, that the undersigned is acquired and presently holds continuous adequate rights. It's just showing that we have the right of way for all of this stuff, and it's been um, it's it shows it on the maps and all. And then it, there's a signature that you Carolyn will come in to sign, and I'll sign as the secretary. Yeah, I asked Casey, I, I have a nine o'clock, uh, you know, the public health excellence grant meeting, but yeah. I can be down there by 1030, because I know Brenda wanted to send it in tomorrow. Is 1030 yeah. tomorrow going to be okay? Should be um, I'll tell her you can only get here at 1030 and then we can send it out. The sooner we can send it, the better. Yep. Um, That's fine. This is the form that I didn't get clarification from either council or USDA until today so i didn't and it wasn't until after 4 30. um so this thing i think truly is an emergency we have to send this forward I if agree. you can't sign it carolyn i can send a draft in with trevor's attestation to a vote once you take it okay um but i should be there i mean i yeah be able to get there tomorrow i i, I just have you know we have this monthly I mean, this is one of our monthly meetings that I am committed for that grant. So I, 
have to show up. Um, okay, so let's oh, I would entertain a motion to sign this. Make a motion to, to sign the right of way certificate for the USDA uh, grant application. Second. Or loan, sorry, thank you. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. So it's unanimous. Trevor can sign it right now. And I'll whip down tomorrow as soon as that meeting's over and sign it, Casey, okay? Um, okay, thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. That should be good. Um, well, the only other thing, oh, well, I, I had brought it up to Casey. Um, Chris Harris had asked me to waive the insurance requirement for the mummers, the additional insurance, because mm -hmm. the mummers are covered under the Friends of Deerfield. Okay. Um, you know, so I can, I can, we can vote that if we yep. want. Okay, make a motion to uh, waive the requirements for the additional insurance for mummers because it will be covered under the Friends of Deerfield insurance policy, which Second. is $2 million. All those in favor? Tim? Tim LGI. John McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Nassau. Okay, that's done. All right, that's a continuation kind of thing we've been doing each meeting until, until the parade. Mm. I'm really well, excited. This one was slightly different because we've been individually waiving different things right. for individuals, but this is waiving mummers because it's covered under the Friends of Deerfield. Correct. Yep. They have their own insurance, but this is. If anyone gets a wood clog in the head, <laughs> comes flying no. off the foot. <laughs> no, but, no, but you know, it's it's just really. I know it's yep. a pain, but this is really important because of okay. all the work business. For sure. So we just, this way, between all of us, there's enough insurance. Um, and I'm moving, trying to move forward. I called Tina at the elementary school. I just didn't get a call back today, but we're, we're just going to be working on those posters for the kids to decorate our floats. Yeah, we may need to uh, purchase some stuff at Staples, right? Some supplies for them. Well, actually, I was going to call. Yes, we're, we're going to get poster yeah. boards. I was going to see what, if Pat thought, that we should, I should go pick it up at Staples or if we can get it ordered for the school. Why don't what? you find out what we need from the school we and we'll the, order it. We need the, the uh, 20, 22 by 28 just poster board. Do we need workers? Like, Do we need anything else? No, well, some, I, I, I don't well, know. Let's if find out from, from them. Yeah, if we get a yeah. list, it would be much are, more efficient have, in terms of an order. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if they, I mean, I have plenty of acrylic paint, but anyway, we, we need to what be, they need. yeah, we'll have to find out what the art class needs, but hopefully we'll get this done. I'll run, I think I, I'll go get a quote from East or run over to Eastern textile and get, see if I, that webbing, um, maybe we can figure out something else, but I was going to staple gun the poster boards to the webbing, like the rug backing webbing, and then hang it from the, on the side. So you get three or four poster boards in a row and it will go the length of the, of the trailer, the ends of the trailer, the fronts of the trailer, and then um, have the kids sign it. And then we can um, unhook the strips of the we webbing and fold it up and preserve it for the 400th. The kids can come back and look at their, what they did when, I was just going to have like the fourth, fifth, and sixth grades do, do it. So we'll see. Does that sound okay with you guys? Are you Fine. all set with that? Yep. All right. Beautiful. Let's see the trailer as soon as we can. We could just kind of start working on ideas. Yeah. yeah. Well, I asked Kevin to come up with some way that we can have some kind of, you know, we have to have a. We just got to see what it looks like. Yeah. yeah put the, put the posts in and dates. some something. Right safety on the top we can't have people falling off yep. <laughs> like myself right <laughs> i'm not the I'm not the handiest here so anyway we are gonna tie you to the mast right <laughs> <I can't. laughs> well <laughs> all right uh, we don't want anything we... to happen to joe you know oh, we or can't Natalie. oh my god they're, they're wonderful for us i they're know awesome uh, yeah so anyway um thank you okay. uh, we'll take an adjournment motion to adjourn second all those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. 
Governor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, and all. Thank you, Thanks, everybody. Casey.